Sometimes you start at the bottom in the mud, but that doesn't mean that you can't make it to the top. I started with nothing but a dream, but it takes dedication, ambition, hard work to make your dreams come true. So I want you to ask yourself, are you challenging yourself? Are you? Like, nah, for real. Are you overcoming your fears? Are you? Are you being the best you can be at all times? Are you? If not, then you need to check yourself, wasting your time watching other people succeed, scrolling down Facebook just wishing. Well, wishing ain't enough. If you want this, you gotta work until your back burns. Until it burns. And when it burns, keep working. keep working. And when that wave comes over the rail and breaks you down to your knees, get back up. I don't care if you're soaking wet. Nah, that doesn't matter. Remember, you were born wet. You were born for this. You don't quit. You can't quit. When the going gets tough, I got three children, I'm going to raise them. I got three children, I'm going to raise them. Bro, I beg! Oh, Jesus, what is this? Bro, I beg, I beg. I beg. I got three children, I'm going to raise them. I beg, take a small spot. No, like, this is a risk. Swag Nation, see the risk we take. Hey, it's okay like this, I beg. Don't speak. See the risk we take, people? To entertain you live on direct on River Niger. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. This one that a hit under. You don't go boss, Abi. Swag Nation, the lie. Oh, but my, my, my test I don't come out, oh. I'm not joking. <laughs> the risk we take to entertain you. I am begging the captain that I'm the only child and I have three boys. I will raise them. Yes, so captain, God bless you. It all comes down with the speed. Yes. No, 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 this is Swag Nation. <laughs> yes, so. It was a hot afternoon on the 10th of April 2024. In my usual routine of checking X, formerly Twitter trend table, to keep up with the latest happening, I was taken aback on seeing Junior Poop trending. The name sounds familiar from the television program Professor. Acted alongside Kanayo O Kanayo. I was a bit scared opening the trend because that young man has never trended on X. The last I saw him being mentioned on social media was when a blog posted a video of his wife surprising him with a mighty kick on his birthday while he was shooting a video. I got completely demoralized on seeing the news. Bloggers, engagement farmers were reporting that he passed away after he drowned in the river Niger while shooting a movie. I checked more tweets and I saw a video of him making videos while enjoying the boat cruise. It was reported that he posted a video earlier that morning. Then I saw a video where people were being brought out of the water. Information available then was sketchy. However, it was being reported that Junior Pope was involved in a boat mishap. Someone who survived the mishap explained what happened. Now the farm, farm of the boats, now do me this thing. So I did for that front. He was, they were making a video, and as they make everybody pull phone for pocket, make everybody pull phone for pocket. The DOP was wearing a jacket, and the director was wearing a life jacket. Only two of them wear life jackets. So, JP then said that me and the out of the boat, bend down. Who can they go? But before we, I entered the boat, I carried my boat. First thing, when Junior Pope asked me, to, what did they do? At least I said, they observe other people. I know they feel pass without sharing something. I don't give them fun to bed. I don't want any bad thing to happen to me. I know like what I thought, he said, not true, not true. We enter, they sit down. That and we do done to go, JP done the make video. The boat guy was wearing an earpiece. I think he was playing the music and JP was doing video. So he was focusing for his head to come out on the video. And I was in the front. I see one small canoe, these people were the fishermen. At the time I say, see canoe, this thing like canoe like this now, where they move. The canoe, that guy, if he get experience, 
If we just do like this, but you know, get the experience. The first thing we in jam now, the last point of the canoe, the boat. Someone sort of. But because I was holding that rope, where we say boat packed for, for dry ground, where the days hold up for ground, now that rope, now I hold, they save that girl, Scooby Doo girl. Where they say, where me and I'm there, they push them off. See me where no they enter swimming pool and no sabi swim. Nothing, nothing. That was it. I just want to thank God today that I'm alive. I'm I'm a survivor from the situation that happened yesterday. It was 1.30 to 2 in the afternoon. We're all on the boat. Junior Pope, TC Virus, myself, Tango Dikoma Idoma, Scooby-Doo, and the director of movement, the production manager, Ogolo, and a lot of them. On our way, going to another destination on top of the river, we're all having some good conversation. Suddenly, Raising our head up, we saw a normal canoe boat. I don't know if he's looking for fish or whatever. And we are very close, so close. Our pilot was trying to dodge and the canoe guy was trying to paddle fast to dodge. But he could not make it. And we are that very close. And that was how the canoe guy had to jump inside the river and our own flying boat have to clamp on top of his skin and that caused the tumbling of the flying boat inside the river and we all the passengers we are 12 in number artists crew member director production manager and camera assistant sound engineer production assistant that was how we all turned inside the river and about seven of us try our best drag in fact it was just life and death we drag drag some of us survived it seven and five of them were missed inside the water which is junior pope precious makeup artist Two sound man. We could not see them for more than two hours plus. It was later the divers and the help of other people. They have to go and throw nets inside the water. The divers have to go down deep inside the water and tie Junior Pope's leg. Begin to drag him with nets out. Surprisingly, in the evening of that same day, the social media space was filled with videos saying Junior Pope is alive. According to reports, after he was brought out from the water, those around him there confirmed him dead. Wait a minute, did you hear that? A non-medical personnel pronounced someone dead. Who gave them the power to do so? Which medical equipment did they use to do that? The carelessness of the Nigerian state and her people. Let's continue. From there, it was reported that they took him to the morgue. The morgue attendant, after examining him, confirmed that there is still life in him and that he should be taken to the hospital. It was also reported that the people around took him to the bank of the river to perform some ablution. From there, he was being lifted like a log of wood, accompanied by erratic and uncontrollable crowd, shouting at the top of their voices, who followed him to the hospital. On getting to the hospital, he was pronounced dead by the medical personnel there. From there, everyone disappeared after getting sufficient videos for their social media engagement. Now let's get to the crux of the conversation because the purpose of this video is to create awareness about the danger inherent of carelessness in the Nigerian state. This carelessness can be seen in every facet of our life. To correct the ease and take precautionary measures, we must start adequate social awareness to disabuse the minds of the misguided many. Firstly, 
Junior Pope and others who were said to have been contracted by the Nollywood producer Adam Maeze to shoot a movie which is tied to the other side of life. The movie demands a riverine scene. From the video posted by the crew members, none was wearing a live vest. A live vest is highly recommended when crossing the water and is to be worn on the passengers by professionals. An industry like the Nollywood could not provide live vests for the crew members. What a shame to that organization. This is a very, very big shame. Now, in every bank of a river that converts people across the other side of the river, shouldn't there be authorities made of marine police, professional divers, that should ensure that those entering the boat are well dressed in a vest. This is a normal practice in a regulated system. But alas, the carelessness of the Nigerian state and her people. From this video here of Junior Pope, you could see that the driver was distracted. One of the survivors narrated that the driver was trying to look into the video being recorded by Junior Pope and he was wearing an earpiece. He tried to call his attention to an oncoming boat but his ears were blocked. How do we allow an unprofessional driver to handle his steering? Why will you as a passenger be distracting the driver? His focus should be on the steering and the road or whatever route he's taking. This is carelessness of the Nigerian state to allow an unprofessional driver to drive a citizen and the carelessness of the citizen to also distract a driver. After the incident, which Junior Pope and others were rescued from the water, he was surrounded by large onlookers who were beseeching the scene to take photos and videos to post on their social media. This is worrisome. At this point, the only people that should be close to them are those who are professionals in resuscitating unconscious people. Yes, they should be present there. Well, I guess they were not there because the Nigerian state does not care about the safety and life of our people. A simple CPR could have gone a long way to saving the life of those that were rescued. But alas, what they were doing there, they were praying or carrying out spiritual sacrifices. From there, he was pronounced dead by non-medical personnel and taken to the mortuary. How could that be? Who certified him dead? The monk attendant, in his wisdom, checked on him and said he was still breathing and should be taken to the hospital. At that moment, Junior Pope should be in an ambulance where equipped with oxygen on his way to the hospital. But no, he was being accompanied by a erratic crowd shouting at the top of their voices. He was being carried like a log of wood. No first aid, no oxygen. On arriving in the hospital, he was pronounced dead. The large erratic crowd, the noise and the chaotic situation is enough to kill someone. He was fragile at that particular point in time and was fighting for his life. All he needs is a calm and ventilated environment. But at last, the Nigerian state and the Nigerian people fail Junior Pope. You heard him earlier in that video making a promise that he's going to stay alive for his kids. He's going to take care of them. Yes, he made a mistake boarding a boat without a life vest. He made a mistake entrusting his life to an unprofessional driver, to a producer that doesn't care about safety. After the incident, he fought to live for his sons and wife. He wanted to live so as to create a social awareness about boarding a boat without a life vest. But the carelessness of the Nigerian state and the stupidity and ignorance of the people around him killed him. You can see how bad government affects everyone irrespective of your social standing, irrespective of your financial status. It is not a respecter of person. It affects everyone. Whether you are a key Christian, a Muslim, a pagan, a traditionalist, whether you are in the high or you are in the low, bad government comes back to haunt us. It is so shameful that in this age and time, the Nigerian government cannot provide equipment for the people crossing the river. No ambulance in case of emergency, no professionals, no marine police touring the river, no divers. At what point will Nigerians react against pro-leadership? At what point? The Bible said, 
My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The major cause of backwardness and destruction in our society is lack of knowledge. How many Nigerians are equipped with the necessary survival skill in times of an emergency situation? How many? Rather, they are equipped in prayer skills. Not knowing how to pray will not kill you. But not having a simple survival skill like a CPR can kill someone that is very close and dear to you. Prayer is good, but religious activities are good when it is done in the right and appropriate time. It has been observed that Nigerians are so careless with their life. They are so careless with everything around them, including the government. The life expectancy of an average Nigerian is pegged at 52 years. 52 years. That is so much for a praying nation. Most things that Nigerians pray against, they pray against untimely death. They pray to stay alive. They pray against poverty. But yet, the rate of poverty and the rate of untimely death in our society is too high. It is very high compared to the nations that are not regarded as a praying nation. At what point are we Nigerians going to realize that while we are so vast in spiritual activities, the major things that will save your life, we are lacking at it. The Bible said, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. Lack of knowledge, my people perish. Majority of the death we experience, the destruction we experience in our society are caused by carelessness and ignorance. Our government has failed to provide the needed medical facilities. But we as Nigerians, we should not be careless with our life. We should be very careful. The junior pope dead, though tragic, should serve as a deterrent to anyone, to everyone out there. When crossing the river, be careful. Learn swimming. If you don't know how to swim, please get a life jacket. It doesn't cost you much. It doesn't cost you a fortune to get the life jacket. That money you spend on a life jacket is not worth more than your life. Enough is enough. This unavoidable death we keep recording in our society. At this juncture, I want to say that the soul of Junior Pope and others that lost their life in that booth mishap rest in peace and we pray such incidents do not occur again. Thank you for watching.